Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Today we'll talk about the performance testing. So before we start that performance testing, you have to know that what is the functional testing and another what is non-functional testing. Performance testing is not any functional testing, it's a non-functional testing. So it is not part of your requirement, but it is part of that you are how the stability of your application. So if you go through this, uh, you know, um, the performance testing definition, what it is saying that performance testing is a non-functional software testing technique that determines that how the stability and responsiveness of an application holds up under a given workload. So if, if you think about that, uh, this is my application. In this application, we'll check the stability and response under the given load. Okay. So when I put the load, we'll check that how my application is stability and uh, providing me the response. So now the question will come that what is the load? Load is nothing but the number of users at a certain time. So whenever you uh, you are visiting a website or you are visiting an application, right? So that application I am visiting in in that case I am the load. Okay. So if thousand user are visiting that application, the thousand user are the load. Okay. So we'll check that in that time. We'll certain time we'll check that how my uh, stability and responsiveness for the thousand user. So that is my performance testing. For the performance testing, we have a uh, different kind of a uh, type of performance testing. We can do multiple type of performance testings. We'll discuss that in details. But uh, uh, actual point of this performance testing is that how my uh, application will perform in certain um, load, like certain user. Okay. So in the performance testing, we have basically five type of testing. One is the load testing, another is the stress testing, and the uh, third is the endurance testing. Uh, spike testing and volume testing we'll discuss one by one what is the load testing so in the load testing what we'll check that basically let's take example that um, we have designed that the uh, our application was 50 user right so that application is designed for 50 user but we'll apply 45 to 50 user why because in the load testing will always try to put the uh, you know um, uh, less amount of user um, uh, from the expected user okay so if maximum capacity is 50 we'll uh, provide the 45 to 50 user okay in that case we'll check that how the performance it is so let's see what definition is check that check the application ability to perform under anticipated user load so we know that 50 user is our capacity but we'll put the 45 to 50 user the objective is to identify performance uh, bottleneck uh, before the software application goes live. So before application goes live, we'll check the load testing. What is that stress testing? So in the stress testing, we'll check the involves the testing application under extreme workload to see how it's handle high traffic or data processing. So in this stress testing, we'll always check that how that application is handling with extreme uh, load. Okay, so let's take example. When we put the 50 uh, user, it was quickly giving me that without zero second. But we put the thousand user, and it is giving me response the three second. So, and then uh, we are giving that uh, 1100 user. It is giving me in the three second also. But if we put the 12 uh, 100 user, it is giving me the four second. Uh, four second. So we are increasing the load, but still our application is able to process, handle the load, and providing me. There will be some delay, but it is, uh, um, you know, giving me response. When we need the stress testing, let's say uh, your application got viral, right? So, um, I mean, your video got viral, right? And which is running on one of the application. So, let's take an example that you are expecting the uh, user was 50, but in some cases, it is going to the 1000 user, right? So, in that case, what happens? Uh, in that case, uh, uh, we have to be, be prepared that our application should not be down. So in that case, we do the stress testing that, um, you know, it can be take the higher, longer of data. Next is the endurance testing. In the endurance testing, basically what we did, we check that in which point our application is getting break. Okay. So till the 12, 1200 user, our application was giving me that in a four second, in a four second, it was giving the response, right? When you put the apply the 5000 user, it is giving me the 10 second response is giving in 10 second. Okay. But when we apply the 5001, 
then there is no response there is no response in that case we can say our breaking point in the 5001 so if the application got viral or that got viral but it cannot be take uh, uh, you know um, load more than 5000 in that case we can monitor that application whenever uh, the 75 percent load is done we can increase the capacity or something like that we can do that so in andrews testing we know that which is my breaking point where my application will be break okay in our application in our case the 5001 user is the breaking point we need to be do the more than 5000 user what is the spike testing in the spike testing basically uh, you know it it's check that application for longer time okay longer periods so we can apply the 50 user or 100 user or 1000 user but that application will be run for the uh, um, you know six hours or seven hours so that we can know that our application is not baking if we run for six uh, hours or seven hours so in that is the spike testing so it will be uh, run for longer time so it, it's not a uh, you know um, um, a small time it will be run for few uh, very long time so what is the volume testing in a volume testing will basically check that uh, our database uh, have the capacity to transaction data for a large number of data okay so we'll what we did basically in the volume testing we load a huge state kind of data in our uh, server and check the server can be processed and similarly we um, uh, download the huge kind of data and see that the data is actually uh, able to handle that um, huge number of data okay in that case in the volume testing we just see that a database capacity how it can handle so that's it uh, for all about um, performance testing again the performance testing is not a functional testing so it will not given by your customer that you you have to be as a developer or you as an application designer you have to be check that how your applications performance so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day